Hey guys, what's up? DGS here, and today I'm going to be going over the top 5 best weapons and the best mage loadout uh, for Terraria 1.2.4. Uh, yeah, so pretty much, let's just go ahead and hop right into it. Coming in at number 5 is, you guessed it, the Mythical Heat Ray. So, this gun is good at going up against invasions. Uh, it shoots through enemies, it shoots the enemies behind it. Uh, yeah, so it does 100 magic damage, has a 28% uh, critical strike chance, it has very fast speed, uh, has weak knockback, it uses 5 of your mana, shoots a piercing round, which goes through uh, one enemy, and the rest goes through all the enemies at once. Uh, Al Hulakbar, uh, yeah, does 15% uh, damage, an extra 13 in speed, extra 5 in critical strike chance, 12% in mana, 15% in knockback, and yeah. So it's coming in at number 4, we have the Godly Bubble Gun, it has 128 magic damage, uh, an extra 28% uh, critical strike chance, very fast speed, Weak knockback uses 3 mana, rapidly shoots forceful bubbles, an extra 14% in damage, 15% uh, in critical strike chance, and an extra 50% in knockback. It's pretty good against flying bosses when you're flying around to shoot it at them in an old path. Uh, yeah, it doesn't have that much range, so it's good when you're flying around away from the boss. And yeah, it's pretty good. And uh, that's why it made uh, number 4 on the top 5 list. So yeah, it's a pretty good weapon. Coming in at number 3, we have the Mythical Razor Blade Typhoon. This weapon is really good going up against other enemies. Uh, it does 110 magic damage, an extra 28% uh, critical strike chance, very fast speed, average knockback uses 12 mana, uh, cast a fast moving uh, it casts fast moving razor things, yeah, that just fly around your enemies. An extra 15% in damage, 10% in speed, 5% in critical strike chance. It reduces your mana cost by 11%, and an extra 15% in knockback. It's really good. Uh, they don't do that much damage, but it's really good going up against your enemies. You can shoot a lot of them out, and they follow your enemies. Uh, and that's why it made number three. So yeah, it's a really, really good weapon, one of my favorites. Coming in at number two, we have the Blizzard Staff. This is obtained by killing the Ice Queen during the Frost Moon, I believe it's called. Uh, it does 107 magic damage, 28% uh, critical strike chance, very fast speed, average knockback. Uh, uses six uh, mana showers, uh, a an area uh, with icicles. Uh, yeah, there's an extra 60% in damage, 10% in speed, 50% in critical strike chance, reduces mana by uh, 11%, and an extra 15 in knockback. So anyways, this is really good going up against opponents, making it rain on them in one area, or uh, especially on a boss that doesn't fly around, you could just, even a boss that flies around is pretty good. Coming in at number one, we have the Razor Pine, well, the mythical Razor Pine does 88 magic damage, 28% critical strike chance, uh, uh, insanely fast speed, weak knockback, uses 3 mana, shoots razor sharp pine needles at your enemies, uh, 50 has an extra 15% in magic damage, uh, an extra 13% in speed, an extra 5% uh, critical strike chance, reduces mana cost by 20%, and an extra 15% in knockback. So, yeah, that's pretty much all the weapons that I have right now. Uh, so we'll go ahead and go into the armor. The Spectre Hood uh, does 4 defense, increases maximum mana by 80, reduces mana by 17%, 10% increase uh, magic damage and critical strike chance, set bonus of magic damage uh, done to, uh, yeah, it's pretty much to your enemies, and it will give you health. So... Yeah, that's pretty much uh, all this uh, all this uh, armor does. Pretty much all does the same thing, you know, just different defense and different uh, percentages. Yeah, so I use, uh, for the equipables and the things like that, I use the, uh, 
I use the menacing mana flower, which uh, uh, reduces your mana cost by 8%, automatically uses mana potions when needed an extra 4% in damage. Uh, yeah, so that's that's pretty good uh, when you do that. Uh, use that. Uh, the warding Avenger symbol, uh, emblem, uh, it's equipable. Uh, on your bottom slot, uh, does an increase of damage by 12% and an extra 4% damage. Then we have the, uh, the menacing, uh, sorcerer emblem, does an extra 15% in magic damage, an extra 4% in, uh, defense. Uh, the forceful, uh, cuffs, the forceful, uh, celestial cuffs, cuffs, sorry, increases, uh, pickup range for mana. Uh, restores mana when damaged and an extra two percent or extra twelve percent in uh damage. Yeah, so those are pretty much all my uh other loadouts. The other one that we missed was like you know, something that wasn't really that important. Uh yeah, so the other thing was uh the red wings. So yeah, so anyways if you guys enjoyed this video remember to leave a like and if you want to see the other classes remember to leave a comment in the comment box below. So hopefully see you guys in the next video. Peace out.